Okay, so I had to move some of these muscles away to kind of show you here, but here's your femoral artery. Now your femoral artery will bifurcate from your common iliac, okay, from your descending aorta to the common iliac that comes to the pelvis and then ultimately becomes your femoral artery. And you notice that the femoral artery here is actually quite deep. It's not very superficial. It's under quite a bit, a lot of, uh, quite a bit of muscle tissue. And so when we have a communicated femur fracture, when we have shards or um, broken bones, uh, pieces that are kind of able to rupture or lacerate these vessels it could either be the femoral artery or it could be some of these large branches that are going to be feeding some of the leg as well well the when these rupture we can have up to 1500 mils it's anywhere between a thousand to 1500 mils of blood loss that's a lot of blood loss from these types of uh, fractures these community fractures and so why do we have so much blood loss it's simply because of how big these vessels are and how deep they are and how likely they are to get lacerated with community femur fractures another thing too is that these are large compartment compartments so there's not a lot of pressure in here so we can actually carry a lot of blood in these compartments here before the pressure gets so high it starts putting tamponade on the vessel itself to stop some of that bleeding or slow it so it takes some time and so just because of how large the compartment is and how big these vessels are is why we see such major blood loss in femur fractures